What do you mean if the opportunity is there? I, I don't, I know, I said to Jeff, we have an opportunity. Well, we have an opportunity to do that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, we're going to very far. How can we have two forms? How, how is that, how is that? That's a good question, too. Does everybody understand the question? The two forms that he's speaking about is the form in Krishna Lila and the form in Vaitana Lila. Uh, Krishna has a limited form. And uh, his original form is Krishna and Krishna as Vaitana. They're both the avatari, the source of all incarnation. And others like Ram, Shrim, Varaha, Dwarkadish, Mataresh, Narayan are all avatara, meaning the manifestation or expansions of the avatari or the source of everything. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is um, Krishna who wanted to understand and taste the love of Srimati Radhika, but he couldn't as Krishna. So he had to, with her permission, he um, became covered by her complexion and mood. So then the same Krishna, but in the mood, and with the complexion of Radharani, how she loves Krishna. It's like, I mean, it's normal that every boy wants to know what the girl is really thinking of and how she really loves him, and the girl wants to know the same thing. So where does it come from? It comes from origin. So Madhya Tirtaha. Everything has its origin in Krishna in life. So, um, the, by Krishna's mercy, he made us in such a way that we can experience service to Krishna as Krishna and Radha as two separate forms and service to their combined form as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, Anybody who's in the line, who's coming in the line of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, to serve him, serves him eternally. And by entering into Dakira, or the mood of servitorship to Mahaprabhu, one comes out with the mood of Madhurya. By diving into what is called Barakona Ghat, the Ghat where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, teaches his students in Navadri who come up in Jamuna or Radhakund in the local Pandavan. So those two forms are required for the complete service of Radha and Krishna. Is that right? Yeah. Any other questions? Beautiful question. Oh, right. That's a good question. So the question is, how do we understand what is our free will, if we have free will? And what, how do we know what activities of ours are controlled by the Lord's will and what's controlled by our own free will? So, uh, I'll speak just a couple of words, but you can read about that elaborately in chapter 16 of Jagadharma. The similar questions are asked. Chapter 15, 16, and 17 are all about Jiva Tattva, about the spirit soul. And the disciple, Rajanath, is asking his guru, um, Rajanath Das Babaji Maharaj, uh, what am I doing here? Why do I have to suffer? And uh, his guru said that this is one of Krishna's pastimes. And he said, but why does Krishna have to have to be this is one of his pastimes? So we should suffer. And the guru says, because everything is there in God, so this has to be there. You can't have anything that's missing. So Krishna knew who to create in what capacity. So his pastime, he takes such in the pastime of redeeming us, redeeming those souls who have turned away from him. And he knew who to create who would want to do that, even before our creation. I mean, it's out of our conception. So anyway, um, his guru is explaining that 
because we are part and parcel of Krishna, just like my hand, my finger, is part and parcel of my whole body. So it's made of the same things as my whole body, or it's very tiny, a tiny part. This finger is made of blood, bone, pus, marrow, veins. It's just one little part. And the body is made of the same thing. So quantitatively, there's a big difference between my finger and my whole body. The qualitatively is the same. Similarly, the soul, we, are infinitesimal uh, fragments of the infinite supreme Lord. So quantitatively, there's a vast difference. Just like quantitatively, there's a vast difference between a gold bracelet and a gold mine, a whole mine of gold. But qualitatively, they're the same. So Krishna, or God, has unlimited free will, unlimited free desire. So because we're his infinitesimal parts and parcels, we have to have infinitesimal free will. And because it's infinitesimal, it can be, because it's free, it can be used or misused. And because it's infinitesimal, tiny, it has a tendency to cover, be covered by the strong material nature of Krishna. So we have our independent free will, but ultimately everything is controlled by Krishna's will. And we need mercy from Krishna's will to be able to allow to or give him power to use our free will properly. Therefore, we have so many songs to Guru, to Vaishnava, to Balaram, to Nityananda, to Radha, to Krishna, uh, to give us the power that, to protect us against the Maya and to use our free will properly. But if you study that, it's so uh, overwhelmingly eye opening, those three chapters. Yeah. Any last question? Thanks for thanks for taking us into your group. Your beautiful group. I can just feel you're just really a beautiful bunch of people. So we're very uh heart felt uh Yeah, thank you. So nice seeing you. Um, Eastern Prabhu in Florida wants to know if you'll speak for twenty minutes tomorrow on the meaning of the Alpha A pre pre for before the festival that we're going to in Kona next week. Okay. So if we have a program here for 20 minutes, or we have a program here tomorrow night, right? I don't think there was one, but he's asking for one. Is there a program was, tomorrow night? Is there a program tomorrow night? Even if there's not a program, we could, he's asking, all right, what time? Okay. Okay. Yes, please. I have a question. I'm not sure if it's being the social. But okay, Udaba. Udaba made a prayer that after meeting with the gopis and seeing their high level of prayer and bhakti, he was wanting to be born as a herb or creeper in Vrindavan. But I was thinking that even though I we want to go to the local Vrindavan, Krishna's friend, he's his minister, advisor, like a brother. Krishna even told him, you're more dear to me than Lakshmi and Balaram and my own self. They're very, very intimate. And Krishna wanted to know, I mean, he, he didn't like that. Krishna was um, feeling so much separation from the gopis, from all the Vrishwasis, but especially the gopis, 
that he would be sitting on his rooftop in Mathura and just looking across the river and just feeling the pain in his cows and his associates. So he couldn't share his pain with anybody because nobody was qualified to hear. Like, you can't express your feelings to your fellow workers, right? To come up with your job, you think. What? Yeah, I have to be hidden. Hidden. And if you told them, you would feel like you lost something. Whereas if you talk to Radha about some inner feeling that you have in relation to Krishna consciousness, some, or some pain that you have that I can't chant well enough, or I feel like I'm offending very day, you feel that there's some relief and relief, and she'll take some of it from you, and it's like shared. So, Vrindavan is the highest place where the highest associates are. Mushra's uh, associates, the queens, Uddhava, the Pandavas, they can never understand anything of the love of the United States of Vrindavan. So Krishna couldn't relieve himself of any of the pain that he was experiencing in such a separation. So he thought, I'll take the best one here, Uda, I'll send him to Vrindavan in the, with the pretense that I want to give them solace, that he should console them in their separation. And um, then when he goes there and associates with them, then he will know the meaning of the two-letter word, pray must, pray must. In Sanskrit, it's two, two syllables, two letters, pray must. Pray is like one letter and ma is another one. And in love, in English, it's love, one syllable, with four letters. Anyway, so he said, I want him to understand really what praying is so that I can share my misery, the misery of company. So I'll send him there and he'll get qualified and I'll come back and I'll be able to relieve myself. So he sent him there, uh, he sent him there, and Uddhava uh, had previously been thinking that, you know, he's such an intimate associate of Krishna and he's so high and so advanced. He is, so he had that pride that I'm very close to Krishna and I understand Krishna and I love for Krishna more than anybody. Then he went to Vrindavan. And he saw that he was at the bottom of Mount Everest. And you might think that you're pretty tall, but if you're at the bottom of Mount Everest and you look up, your head goes so far back that your cap will fall off the back of your head. And that's how it was. So. But because he was not constitutionally a bridge bhakti, a resident of Vrindavan, but he was a much of a bhakti, he could, and he also couldn't therefore appreciate the volume of their suffering. He thought that they were suffering couldn't understand that it was really the highest happiness. Their suffering was the highest happiness. Um, he wasn't qualified to become one of them. So, he, he needed 85 to, to a mark of 85 to um, pass the end of the stand, but he couldn't. couldn't he, didn't, he couldn't even become a sleeper in the school, or the sleeper. Getting in the So, therefore, he could only pray that let me become a creeper or a, um, an herb so that when the gopis pass me as they're going to meet with Krishna, the dust from their feet, therefore I can get something more than what I have now. But he couldn't imagine asking for that thing of Manjuri Ba or Radha Dhafin. But it's not his constitutional position. So he can simultaneously be a Mataravati or Dwarkavati as Uddhava and an Earth. Um, like the Pandavas. They became trees at Radha Kun here on his Earth planet, Radha Kun and Shankar. So that they could uh, he bought them and see the past and the right position. So it's a, it's a fact that the associates in Vrindavan do expand to the associates of Dwarka and Mathura. Like, for example, Arjun. Arjun, the coward boy, one of the most intimate coward boys, 
who can even participate in some of Krishna's pastimes with the gopis, because he's a free and non-saki. He expands into that Arjuna on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. So they can become them, but they can't become them. You know what I mean? Their origin is them. So, Uddhava didn't have the constitutional position of a gopi, and he couldn't pray for it. We are zillions and zillions and a hundred times lower than Uddha, but still, practically everybody who comes in the line of Mahaprabhu does have that um, swaroop, and therefore we can pray for it. I asked her they once, and then I, when I first met him, I said, I can't imagine how I, who's so low, can pray for something that even Brahma and and Lakshmi can't get. He said, that means we have no greed. He said, if you had any greed, then you'd be like this ugly, toothless, black, lame man who sees Princess die on her, in her bubble car, parading down the road, and not considering if he's qualified or not, thinking, I wish I could marry her. I want to marry her. Greed doesn't have any qualifications. Can I answer the question? Uh, there's a question from, the, we're live now, um, over the internet. How are you Christian? How are you better? Uh, I was here in internet land. <laughs> we're not in internet land. You're in internet land. <laughs> uh, we're going to go live from the festival next week. And I was practicing. This is the first time I've done it. So. She's going to be doing Guru Day. With my with help from someone in Florida. So there's a question from the internet. I don't know who it's from. Her email is ilovrada at hotmail.com. Um, with Shilagiri being so far away and not seeing him so often, how to give our heart? So the question is, with Guru Day being so far away and what? And not seeing him so and often. not seeing him so often, how can we give our heart? Well, that in itself is a whole class, which we'll discuss yes. some of tomorrow. So we can just mention quickly, so it doesn't look like the skirting issue. Uh, he once gave a class in um, Mwilamba about this verse, Guru Deva Patma, that Guru is more intimate with us than our own Atma, than our own soul, which is our own self. So the next morning, I asked him, you say that, that, we're more intimate, that you're more intimate with us than our own soul, but I don't experience that at all, really. Whenever I see you, I just feel guilty that I'm not serving you nothing. I just feel guilt instead of that love of intimacy. So he said, yes, that's why I gave the class, just so you understand that. He said, just, just like there's no separation, between Krishna and the gopis, but yet they always feel separation. Similarly, there's no separation between guru and disciple. Then another time on the phone, I was in America and he was in India. I was in Houston. He said to me, just know that there's no separation between us, just like there's no separation between water and its wetness or fire and its heat. So keeping that in mind, and even though we're weak and we can't be, go to him, he can easily come to us. Um, and we'll discuss more tomorrow. <laughs>
That was the thing. That was the one we were telling you. Yeah, I think I remember what she was saying that for you. Oh, yeah. But who's on the grid? I think it was the same. Oh, it is. Oh, we did have this boring thing. We did do it this way. We did have this thing. Okay. How do you get into your hair, So, no, like, this became a file. Mm-hmm. Like, I have so many of Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Are you using two? <laughs> yeah. I'm scared of a girl. It was like this. I was like, it's a camera so that it's not. There it is. It's right here. And this here. It's a, because it sometimes it just goes off. It just goes off. And it's like this here. And then the camera. I was like, can you use two? 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 So, what, 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 uh, what do you use? Um, Okay. So you go to the I was like, 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 I was so what did you say? Like, on such and such a line, you can have you to that thing. Like, such a time, like, you know, you can go down, like, you know, you can go down, 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 Nine, ten, 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 ten. Are you still writing to them? Yeah. 
Yeah. How did it go? Yeah. I'm going to try to... Oh, last time I was up there. Huh? Last time I was up there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, are you eating people? Yeah. He's got a camera. Yeah. 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 And by my final mercy, I'll be very happy. And the Santa will send you the prayer. It's okay to have a biography, but it's just start and more divine.